Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a drugstore prom makeup look. Prom is coming up very soon and I wanted to do something a little bit simple but yet very glamorous. I really hope you all enjoy this video, so let's get started. Before applying any eyeshadow, you want to make sure you prime the eyes. This is very important if you want your eyeshadow to last the entire night. So I'm just going to take that and apply it on the eyelids. You guys, this thing has been sitting in my collection for quite a while and I don't really use it. But I tried it out today and I really like it. So if any of you guys are on a budget and are looking for a good primer, I really recommend this one. For my transition color, I'm going to be taking the Rebel Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze with my Sigma E35 brush. And I'm just going to apply this on the crease. The reason I'm using a bronzer is because I honestly don't think I have a light, warm eyeshadow from the drugstore. Don't be afraid to use a bronzer, guys. It works the same way, but if you do have a shadow similar to this, then just go ahead and use that. I'm taking this dark brown Milani eyeshadow in brownstone. I'm just going to apply this color directly on the crease with my Sigma E25 brush. I'm going in to blend out the eyeshadow with my Sigma E35 brush just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking these two NYX Roll On Shimmers which is Platinum and Moth Pink. I'm going to go in with the glitter glue from Too Faced and apply this on the eyelids just to make sure that glitter is secure. And I know this product is not from the drugstore. I honestly don't have any glitter glue that's from the drugstore, but I will find something and I promise I'll have it in the description box. The first roll on shimmer I'm applying is Moth Pink. I'm just applying this on the eyelid with my fingers. You can go ahead and apply it with a brush, but I like to use my fingers. I just feel like it packs on a lot better. I'm now applying some glitter glue in the inner corners of the eyes and I'm going to go ahead and apply platinum. This is just going to work as a nice inner corner highlight. Now that the glitter is placed, I'm going to go ahead and take the dark brown with my Sigma E25 brush and apply more on the crease just to really help it blend. I'm going to apply a little bit more of our transition color with my Sigma E35 brush and further blend this look out. I am now tight lightening the eyes. I'm using the L'Oreal Color Rich Black Liner. You can use any black pencil liner as long as it doesn't smudge. I'm now going in with this NYX Liquid Liner and doing my wing. I do already have an eyeliner tutorial. I'll have that in the description box in case any of you are interested. Before I go in with falsies, I'm going to go ahead and give these a coat with some mascara. I'm using these as Skittle Lashes and Amp It Up. These eyelashes are quite expensive. Honestly, I don't have any eyelashes from the drugstore. I do feel like I could have used something a little bit cheaper, but I just received these, so I really wanted to try them out. If I find a dupe for these, I'll have them in the description box. For the face, I'm taking this NYX Honey Do Me Up. This thing has gold flecks in it, guys, so if you want to feel extra special on a budget, then this is the way to go. I have really big pores, so I'm taking this NYX Pore Filler. So if you have big pores, I recommend you using something that's going to fill them in just so your face can look extra flawless. For foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade 128. It does not match my face, but it does match my neck because I am self-tan. You guys, it is very important what foundation you decide to use that day because you don't want to use anything that has SPF that does not look good in pictures. To highlight the face, I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Classic Library. This is not a concealer that you're going to find at the drugstore. This is something that you will find at the dollar store. It is very cheap and I absolutely love it. If you cannot find this at the dollar store, I'll have a link in the description box where you could purchase it. I believe they have it at iCateHouse.com. I applied this concealer in the areas that I like to highlight and I blended it out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. It is really important to set the under eye concealer so it won't crease. I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Transparent with my Sigma F85 brush. 
yeah, no, F35, my bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the concealer. You have to be very careful what powders you use as well. This one seems to photograph very well. I'm gonna go ahead and add some color to my face with a Rimmel Natural Bronzer and some bronze. This is the one that I used on my eyes. I'm applying this with my NYX BO6 brush on the cheeks, forehead, uh, pretty much anywhere you want to bronze a face. I'm taking this City Color B Matte Blush in the color Fresh Melon. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the cheeks with my NYX BO7 brush. I'm using this NYX Illuminator and Retroalistic with my Alter Beauty Pointed Brush and I'm applying this on the highest points of the cheekbones right above the nose and also on the cupid's bow. This was a highlighter that I would use a lot before and I finally went back to it and I am obsessed. I'm taking this cool toned brown from the Maybelline Nudes palette and I'm applying this with my NYX e.l.f. flat brush and contouring the nose. I love this shade to contour the nose. I feel like it looks very natural. I'm now taking this vanilla color from that same palette and applying this on the brow bone with that same brush that I used to contour but obviously I did clean it. For the brows, I went in with that same palette. I didn't show you guys how I drew them in. I do have a brow tutorial. I'll have that in the description box. Now what I'm doing is just lining the waterline. I'm taking the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and some bronze and applying this underneath the eyes with my NYX B17 brush. I am now taking Brownstone. This is a Milani shadow that we used on the crease. And I'm applying this with my Sigma F15 brush right underneath the lower lash line. I'm going back in with a NYX brush and applying a little bit more bronzer just to blend this all out. Now that the eyeshadow is pretty much complete, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. For the lips, I'm taking this LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint in the color Elude. Underneath that, I did have the NYX Lip Liner in Tangerine. So this is a finished look. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.